Recently, I was laid off from my comfortable corporate job. Mass layoffs hit and my entire department was let go. So now, my primary job is, well, finding a new one. A um, job, that is. But with all this unexpected free time, I thought, why not pursue something that has been stuck in my head for years? Creating my own video game. As of right now, I've got until the end of March 2025 to either get hired or finish this game before my savings run out. No pressure, right? I've always wanted to work for myself, and this seems like the perfect opportunity to just dive in. Being a project manager by trade, I started with the obvious, outlining a detailed 24-week plan to bring this game to life. First up is developing a solid idea and design. And I believe creativity thrives within constraints. Without limits, there's no outside of the box to think of. So I've set some goals and limitations to guide me. My main goal is to create a game that offers multiplayer interaction and allows players to express themselves. And let's be real, I have some significant constraints. I haven't done any drawing or 3D modeling in about 20 years. My youngest um, 3D models are 20 years old. And I don't have the time or skills to handle any complex animations. So no rigging can be involved. I'm an average programmer, I would say. And since I'm going solo on this project, I need to keep the game's scope manageable. So, sorry, no epic MMORPG in six months this time. With that in mind, I need to play to my strengths. While I might not be the world's best programmer, I'm comfortable with the essentials. Variables, functions, objects, classes, loops, you name it. I even have a couple of hobby projects in my shelf. I also have a background in architecture and some experience with hard surface modeling. I understand extrudes, bevels, vertices, edges, faces, and polygons. I just need to brush up on those skills and get back into that creative mindset. I will definitely squeeze out every last bit out of my OpenAI subscription to generate as much concept art, ideas, and help with code as possible. I'll use just every crutch I can find to help me along the way. So, first phase, design and planning. Imagine a game that's a blend of unpacking and cookie clicker. You start with an empty room, place your first pieces of furniture, and as time goes on, you acquire more stuff, unlock even more possibilities, collections, unique items, and interactions. For the multiplayer aspect, I'm considering asynchronous interaction. You could visit your friend's apartments and see how their unique setups are coming along, like checking out a garden gnome dungeon or something equally disturbing. I'm also thinking about adding elements of multiplayer interaction or cooperation to keep things engaging and encourage exploration of rooms. Yes, I know Tuber Simulator exists, we just don't talk about it. So that's where I'm at after the first two weeks of design and planning. I'm beginning to prototype the basic mechanics to see if the concept has potential. For now, I'll be playtesting with friends and family. In the meantime, I've been teaching myself Blender. I even modeled a spaceship after a tutorial to get a feel for the interface and shortcuts, so things are coming back. The next big decision is choosing the right game engine out of the big three. I won't be modeling high poly assets, but I'm considering Unreal Engine. Unreal appeals to me for its blueprint system and impressive rendering capabilities. Lighting is crucial for architectural visuals. On the other hand, Godot is free, lightweight, and has gained a strong community following recently. That could help me avoid getting stuck on technical issues for too long. I'm not considering Unity as I don't have much faith in Unity as a company and their pricing is just too confusing. Ultimately, the deciding factor will be how much visual appeal I can achieve with simple geometry and some clever lighting in each engine, without relying too much on ray tracing. So that's the journey I'm embarking on. Hello, game dev community. Let's see what I can create in the next six months. If you'd like to join me in this adventure, any advice, resources, or just 
Words of encouragement are greatly appreciated. Let's build something amazing together. This game will be as much for me as it will be for you, the player.